In this lecture, I'll give you an overview of NetApp's E and EF series platforms that run on the Centricity operating system. The E series and the EF series platforms provide simple, so easy to manage, very fast and very reliable block storage. So it supports block only. It's not block and file like you get with ONTAP. The EF series are all flash arrays. So that's kind of like the AFF with ONTAP. And the E series are hybrid, meaning that they support both SSDs like you get with the EF series and also spinning disks as well. So again, that's kind of like your FAS systems with ONTAP. Your E-series and EF-series run on the Centricity operating system, and the systems are dual active controller. So you don't get your big clusters with lots of nodes like you do with ONTAP. All of the systems are two controllers, and they're both active at the same time, so they're both servicing clients. The client access for our block level access, it's either direct attached storage over SAS cables or it is remote SAN. It supports fiber channel, iSCSI, InfiniBand and NVMe over F. The platform offers raw storage to clients and also has additional features such as snapshots and replication. So it's not just a bunch of disks just providing the raw block storage. It's more than that because it does have some features there as well. The feature set is, however, basic. The Centricity systems are built for low overhead and a lot of speed. So where the ONTAP systems support varied workloads and lots of different features and are known as the Swiss Army Knife, the Centricity systems are referred to as the dragster of the NetApp storage portfolio, meaning they're very fast, but you don't get the airbags and the air conditioning. So you don't get all the features like you do with ONTAP. With these systems, they don't have their own file system. That's managed at a higher level by the client operating system or application. And Santricity was evolved from the acquisition by NetApp of Ingenio in 2011. The use cases for the E and the EF series, it's very high performance. So for any kind of databases which require high performance, the E and the EF series is a good bet. This is also why it supports the direct attached storage as well. So if you want very simple, very fast, very reliable storage, usually or very often just for a single workload, then the E and the EF series is good. And that's why it does support the direct attached storage as well as the SAN protocols. Other use cases, backup and recovery, where storage features such as deduplication and compression are managed by the backup software rather than being managed by the storage system as you would do with ONTAP. It's good for video surveillance. So CCTV cameras, which require good performance and are also pulling in a large amount of streaming video data. Also good for technical high performance computing, for example, Lustre and GPFS and artificial intelligence, big data and analytics. For example, if you're running your Splunk database on here, that's a good use case and Hadoop, etc. So let's have a look at what the E series and the EF series look like. So I'll go to netapp.com for that. So to get to this page, you go to the front page of netapp.com and then click on products. And then over on the right, you can see the EF series and the E series. This page here is the EF series. I'll just scroll down past the ONTAP systems for that. So we've got the E5700 and the E2800. With all the NetApp platforms, it's always the bigger the number, then the bigger the system, meaning the more capacity and performance there. With the E2800 systems, so these support both SSD and the spinning disks, and you can get up 
to 300,000 IOPS on the system, 1.8 petabytes of raw capacity. On the 5700, it's up to 1 million IOPS and scales to 6 petabytes of capacity. So that is the E series. And if we have a look, so that was the E2800 and the E5700. On the EF series, we have got the EF280, which looks very like the E2800 and the EF570, which looks very like the E5700. You can see the chassis is actually basically the same. The diff so it's, it's basically very similar hardware here, but the EF series, you're only allowed to put SSDs in there, and they've been performance tuned for that all flash SSD only disks. And you're going to see exactly the same specs here as well, because on the E-Series, you could put just SSDs in there if you wanted to. That would give you this level of performance and also that level of capacity as well. So that's your E and your EF series. Going back to the slides again, and just like our FAS and our AFF systems, Again, the way you get that extra capacity is by adding disk shelves to those controllers. Okay, so that was an overview of the E-Series and the EF-Series. Thanks for watching. If you want to get hands-on practice with NetApp Storage for free on your laptop, then you can download my free ebook, which you can see above my head right now. Also check out my NetApp Storage Complete course, which will teach you everything you could possibly want to know about ONTAP. Thanks.